Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the box we're making today. It can be hung up actually because it's using some of our Christmas paper, and this is the penguin paper that's available free in the celebration catalogue. And you can see I've just wound the ribbon round here, and this actually can fold flat for storage. So let me show you that as the bottom comes out as well. and it will just fold flat like that. It's a really, really useful little box. And you can have some lovely treats in there. And as I said, this is the penguin paper and we're in celebration at the moment and for every £45 you spend, you can order a free item from the celebration catalogue and this paper is one of the free items you could earn. So, let's start to make our box. I've got a template here and I've got a piece of Just Jade cardstock that measures eight and a half inches by seven inches. And we're going to start off to do some scoring. And we're going to score at two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight inches, all on this eight and a half inch side, the long side. Twist it round to the short side. And you are going to score at half an inch, and then again at two and a half inches, 90 degree turn, half an inch and again at two and a half inches just like that. Okay so let's get our scoreboard out the way and bring back our template and you can see here how it fits on the top so I will take a picture of this template right now, pause the screen and take a screenshot of it and then you have it okay so first things first we are going to fold on all of these score lines so let me find my bone folder that's hiding from me here it is and we're going to fold on every single one of these score lines okay and it might seem funny doing christmas projects in the middle of august well the end of august when this goes live but you can never start too soon because it comes up, time seems to fly and it comes up before you know it. And if you want to make your own cars, decorations, and all sorts of stuff, it's good to start early so it doesn't become a huge rush at the end. And let's do the last piece here, like that. Okay, so everything's folded. So let's bring back our templates. Now I'm just going to use a, what you call this thing, um, a pencil to show you where we're going to get rid of. So on this half inch, with the half inch side, so you've got the long side, are you working on the long side here in landscape mode? With the half inch side to your right, we're going to get rid of all of this that I'm marking with my pencil. Okay, so all of that's going to go. Okay, so let's get rid of that and get our nice big scissors out and we're going to start cutting. Okay, so we're going to start here on the, the little side and I'm just going to, as you can see here, just give it a quick mitre. Didn't do that very well. That's better. And then we're just basically going to follow where we've marked with our pencil where everything needs to. be cut. And on these taps where you're cutting it down, I'm just going to mitre and cut an angle like that. The tab. This one we're leaving as whole. This one we're totally removing. So. Okay, so I just finished cutting that off camera. But you didn't need to watch me do everything. 
now we just marry it up with our template and we can see it pretty much matches which is exactly what we want so as I said if you haven't taken a picture of the template do so there you can see it maybe a bit better I will put a copy of this template again on my blog post on my website so it'll be there as well because it's much easier to follow the template than to just listen to instructions sometimes so now on these long tabs that we cut nothing off I'm just going to round the corners using the detailed trio punch and this just helps everything to fold more easily to get rid of that so now you can see where we've round at the corners so now we want to put our paper on so it doesn't really matter which way you have this but for argument's sake here I'm going to have this make this so I know that this is going to be my top so I'm going to put a T here because then I'm going to know that's going to be my top and don't worry it's going to be all be covered so we need to put our design issue paper down, decide what patterns we want to go where. I think that will be fine for now. Make sure you're having the right orientation so when it's facing, it'll all be facing the right way. So let's stick this down. And this is, as I said, the penguin paper. And these pieces measure one and three quarter inches squared. And they're just going to fit really easily here. In our little squares. So it's much easier to put them down now before you stick everything together. I love all these little critters, they're just so cute. Even if it is the end of August, they are still cute. Okay, and then this last one here, which is always in the opposite direction because remember when you fold your box down, you're going to fold it like this, and then you're going to lift this piece up. And we're going to want to put this piece here, but not yet. Because we need to put our ribbon down first. So let's get some ribbon. Now this is some lovely Just Jade ribbon, a gingham type ribbon. And this is a Flowers for Every Season ribbon. And all I'm going to do is take some tear and tape and put it across here. Take it up. And we are just going to wind a ribbon round. I've got quite a bit of ribbon here because you just never know how long you where you're going to want to hang it. So I'm going to put that down like that. Then I'm going to find my little piece that I had of designer series paper. Here it is. And we're going to put this over the top to mask the join. up just like that okay so now it's time to put our bit of design serum tear and tape on our tab here at the end just give this a burnish and then take that away and now we're going to just fold our box and just give it a bit of a press down like that and then let's do the base and you can see it folds in really easily because we've rounded those corners so you can see here when you open the box you see everything in the right orientation and there you have your little boxes you can either just use them as boxes and don't have the piece of ribbon or you can hang them up like that it's up to you so 
really cute fold flat boxes so i hope you enjoyed the project if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube know and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos all the measurements and information will be on the blog post on my website excuse me and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below that includes a facebook group where i host monthly clubs and classes where we make projects just like this together either through zoom or facebook live so do come and check me out so thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.